morning everyone, it's Chanel here from the Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for March 24th through the 30th, 2014. This week I am going to use <clears throat> the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine, who I had the pleasure of hanging out with last week and it was such a joy. I hope you enjoyed uh, Doreen's reading last week. I wanted to share hers in honor of getting to spend the day um, assisting her at her workshop. So congratulations to all the new CACRs um, in the Toronto area. Um, it was a pleasure working with you last Monday. So for this week, we're going to pull three cards, and I think we've got them all three right now. I think the universe is being very clear. Okay, so let's see what they have to say. First card is Renewal. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Second card is Night of Fire. Passion, adventurous, self-assured, restless. For a person, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. And then the last card is Nine of Earth. Enjoy life's luxury, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. It's an interesting read this week. So the first thing that comes to me is family. And we can see there's a family depicted Bip, 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 sorry, depicted in the first card, in the renewal card. It feels like acknowledging family and what they represent for you. And this might be your blood family, it might be your immediate family if you have children and a partner, but this may also be your soul family. Our soul families are so important. They're not the families that we are born with. They're the families we choose. They are those who help us and guide us along on our spiritual path. We're being asked this week to acknowledge them and give thanks for them. To really understand the part they play in our lives, in shaping us into who we are, into you know, this spiritual journey that they take us on. Because it's so important, those that help us along this path. It's interesting because I'm not pulling that there's a sudden event needing attention, but I feel like there's um, the, the last piece of the card is what's really important. Think things through carefully. It was really interesting, someone said to me the other day, because I'm, I'm a big person who says, follow your heart. And they're like, it's not your heart, it's your intuition. I said, oh, you're right, exactly. It's not following our brain, letting us analyze it and pull it apart. It's not following our heart, because that's following our emotions. Although there is a, an aspect of following our heart that we do follow. But it's really about following our intuition. And it feels like there's something that has been being thought through for so long and it's time to just put something into action with that. It feels like there's some changes that people are willing um, to make that they've been kind of just putting off making. And it really feels like that pulls over to the last card, the Nine of Earth, which is about spending time, um, sorry, about enjoying life's little luxuries. I think when we can let go of some of the decisions we need to make and just make them or decide that they don't need to be made right now and go back to enjoying life. It's important to go back and enjoy those things. I'm just listening to whatever else the angels have to say. So they're also asking you to bring more joy into your life this week. Remembering to laugh and play as the snow melts. Spring has begun to arrive. We are beginning to see the green of the grass, buds forming, birds returning, and a general melting of the snow. It's time to get outside. It's time to enjoy the sunshine. We had such a beautiful sunny day yesterday here in southwestern Ontario. It's important to get out and rejuvenate yourself in nature. There you have it. 
Give thanks to your soul family this week. They are such an important part of our lives. And, you know, I'm so incredibly grateful for my soul family and all they've done for me over the years. Not that I'm not grateful for my own family. I love them too, but I am incredibly grateful for my soul family. And you guys know who you are, and I thank you deeply. So give thanks to your soul family and get outside. It's time to be outside. I know it's kind of gross out there as it still melts, but get outside. It will rejuvenate you. You need to feel the sunshine on your face and uh, feel the energy of Mother Earth as she reawakens. So until next week, from my heart and soul, we'll see you then.